And it's a real pleasure to welcome all of you here today for the opening of Inventorium our most experimental and cool space yet. Three, two, one! Yay! Oh my gosh, look at that! It's working! <laughs> okay! Oh my gosh, look at that! Okay! Well, welcome to the Ontario Science Centre Inventorium. Uh, in this activity here, which you can see behind you, uh, the idea is for uh, participants, visitors to come and make machines out of very simple found objects. Uh, the idea is to use balls, let the ball drop from the top to the bottom of the machine, going through a whole series of mazes with materials that we've provided. So we're just using simple uh, perf boards, so peg boards. Uh, they can take what quarter inch diameter bolts or uh, uh, using connects as well. But as you can see, it's very, very uh, participatory. Uh, we can see a lot of cross-generational building happening ha here. And even if you just see a two or three year old putting a nut and a bolt together, even that's exciting to see they've discovered something new, how nuts and bolts work. But this is just gravity, and seeing we've got lots of gravity in this building, as everywhere else, they've just got to take a ball, various size, get it from the top of the machine, get to the bottom of the machine in the most interesting manner they can find out. Anyway, come to the Science Centre, give this one a go, we'll reset at the end of the day, it'll be new every time you start this over and over again. And we can see, very busy here today. Inventorium is a testbed for the development of the 21st century learning skills such as experimentation, collaboration, co-creation and resilience. This is what this is about. Inventorium itself is a resilient space that continues to be developed and reinvented as, as we go. What you will see in a few weeks' time will be very different from what we have today. It's constant reinvention and trying. This is Tech Bar. Um, so at Tech Bar, this is an exhibit where you can lo do lots of different activities regarding technology. So sometimes we'll bring out um, circuits where Kids and parents can play around with circuits and learn about simple circuits and parallel circuits and do challenges. Um, sometimes we'll also bring out tiny drawings, which is an activity where you can draw underneath the microscope. Um, so it's an awesome activity to kind of work with microscopes at a young age. Um, and then we also, right now here, we've got the virtual reality goggles. Um, so it's really interesting. They can put on the goggles and go to different, um, do explore different realities. And sometimes we'll also do squishy circuits, which is a fun activity for our younger, uh, uh, younger friends. Hey, Adam, would you like to talk about your experience with the VR goggles? Yes. All right. So, what do you like about it? Um, it's really cool. It just gives me a 3D experience. It looks so realistic. So what are you looking at right now? I'm looking at the ocean. Alright, so what's your most favorite part about these VR goggles? Um, you get to see lots of animals. Have you checked out our different exhibits in Inventorium? No, not yet. Alright, thank you so much, Adam. Through experimentation, collaboration, critical thinking and play, visitors are invited, and we invite you to today to roll up your sleeves Flex your creative muscles and bring your ideas to life. We think that this is a good way to spend our time with our family, educating them as best we can and exposing them to arts and sciences. And um, we thought it'd be a perfect way to spend our vacation. We're from California and we'd rather be doing this than watching TV. Um, and uh, we like to challenge our kids in interesting ways and uh, that's why we came to the Science Center. Our support for Inventorium this year is part of our government's commitment to supporting science and technology here and in the real world outside these walls. I'm making a project today. Uh, I'm trying to make it and my mom's helping me with this. She's working in a, in a paper and making a graphic about it's going to be a bird with a name and they, she needs to pick it up at one. They're going to do it in, the, like, in wood. And we're happy to be here. There are a lot of stuff to do with the kids. 
It takes a lot of patience for kids to be able to stand still and read about exhibits and learn history. In this day and age, there's a lot of information that passes through their hands and their eyes, uh, but not a lot of time to sit and process. So when we come to museums um, like this, it's really interesting because if you come to an educational exhibit, it forces them to read what the exhibit has to say, um, learn the history, and then we ask them questions about what they read uh, to be sure that uh, they get it and that they're interested in it. Um, and that's one way we like to challenge our kids and make them understand. And then when they come to an exhibit like this, it's more of a tactile experience where they have to be able to use both their imagination but their hands for creativity. And um, it's a great way of us being able to um, encourage our kids uh, to explore education in a fun and interactive way. And uh, we think that's very productive and healthy for our children. My children are enjoying creating their own masterpieces. My son's never used his own glue stick before. What was your most most favorite part of this? To build and put the um, paper on. He's enjoying putting the paper on himself. Art and work they're doing here is very important for the kids because they can be their own and explore different things they can do it, like own imagination. Who knows, maybe the next Julie Payette will be inspired by what he or she sees here and will be talking about how the Science Center nurtured their love of science, nature, and the world around them. I'd absolutely recommend this. What could be better than bringing your kids to a science museum and allowing them the opportunity to have fun and learn at the same time? Uh, we're here to make sure our children um, grow up to be uh, productive members of society and to be able to add value to this beautiful earth that we created. And you do that by coming to places like this and understanding the value in education in a fun and exciting way. As you explore inventory, as you will get a chance to do in a few minutes, I invite each and every one of you to awaken the inventor in you and make something, try something, do some experiment today. Come to the Science Centre, give this activity a, a go. The inventorium, very, very interactive. You'll love it here.